That's a good point. What we have here is a 1973 Corvette drive shaft. Let me open up my hood real quick. And there's a really good video by Big Chief. And Big Chief, uh, uh, Big Chief talked about uh, a couple issues he had with his C3 he, he bought. Now it had a four link, that's what I'll get eventually, but money, you know, it's expensive. So, we have a IRS, it's cool and all, but, yeah, I'm going to put the glass ones back on, the nice ones, but look at that. So, most, like, Novas and GM, you know, uh, even G-bodies, all kinds of different cars, the engine sits there, Corvette, way back here, as Chief put it, it's a built race car from the factory. But the IRS is the weak point. So, as I showed in my other video, it's 16 inch, 16 and a half inches from here to the carb, and 19 from here to the carb. And so this the the whole motor sits over here, which is good for weight balancing when you're sitting in the seat and you're the only one in the seat. But if you don't put a plate on your engine and you use the stock mounts, you're going to have a problem with high power because now you have a drive shaft that's going at an angle. But you're right. As far as loss, now I need to get mine on the dyno once I get some uh, stickies. But yeah, a uh, lot less weight is lost especially if you got the four link, but you have to do both. You have to get a four link and a nine or a strange rear or a good rear and you have to have it centered. Then you have to get a plate and get this thing centered to take advantage of all that benefit at real high horsepower. Now I'm probably, you know, I'm, let's just say 550 NA plus the nitrous. Uh, I could probably live with my rear. It's my second rear. I've already blown up one. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, you're right. That thing's only like, I don't know, 36 inches or I don't even know. Well, let's look. 